So, um, uh, welcome. Um, my name is Gerben Tamsma. I'm a programmer with the Film Festival in Rotterdam. Uh, and it's my great pleasure to talk here uh, today with uh, Anna Carolina Teixeira Soares, uh, who is a, a, a legendary, if I may say so, a Brazilian filmmaker um, who has been making documentary films since the 60s uh, and, uh, and, and about seven, I think, uh, feature films uh, since the 70s. Um, she's really a, a quite unique figure. Um, I have, we've just seen uh, the premiere in Rotterdam of her new film called uh, Endless Passions, Pachau's Recorrente, if, if my Portuguese is not, uh, so recurring passions. Um, this, uh, this film we uh, invited to a program that we made in the context of Figunam uh, called El Puma Arde, uh, which is like a, an extension of, uh, of a program I made with a colleague Olaf Muller uh, some years ago in Rotterdam, or two years ago, just before COVID, uh, called The Tiger Burns, which is like a tribute to, to veteran filmmakers who have already uh, who have started making films 50 years ago or more, as long as the film festival in Rotterdam existed uh, at the time, uh, and, um, and and are still uh, actively uh, making films um, because they want to, because they can, because the fire still burns in them. Uh, and, uh, and so for Vikunam, we made a whole new series of, of new veteran filmmakers. Um, and um, so, um, um, first, congratulations, Anna Carolina, with finishing um, a, a new film. Uh, maybe, maybe we can we can start by uh, so I explain a little bit what the film is about. It, we, we are on a tropical beach uh, mm -hmm. in in Brazil, uh, mm -hmm. where where several characters, maybe I can say archetypal characters, are gathered and they discuss life or quarrel sometimes, and discuss life, politics. Um, what, what, maybe first I, I can ask about the location, uh, which is not the right way to start by talking about the film, but, but the location is so specific. Uh, what drew you to this location? Okay, now let's go. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, in, initially I was uh, really searching and in a place to to make the film, and I it was very hard for me to decide where that that kind of stuff that I would like to talk, uh, where, where 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 could could it be? And uh, I was in Curitiba. Curitiba means the capital of Paraná, the state of interior of Brazil. Uh, it's take about um, 800 kilometers from Sao Paulo and uh, more or less uh, 800 from Rio de Janeiro. So it, it's, it, it's really in the, in the south of, of Brazil south. towards uh, Uruguay, correct? Yeah, in the south. And uh, by plane you get almost two hours to get there. And uh, I went there to, to the University of, Curit of Paraná uh to make four days of a uh, class uh, of moving class for the university and i was talking to them to the boys very young very young people and very silent nobody says a word all the time and the third day a boy about seven years old when i talk was where the new film i would like to do and i didn't found out any beach i would like to be a beach no not with nothing around and etc and um a boy of 17 years old make like that i know a place it's um, a place uh, called ilia uh, um, honey island honey ilha del miel de miel or something yeah, like ilha de, yeah. la ilha del miel huh? It takes uh, two hours and a half in bar in in lancha lancha comes in barco para with a boat to go there yeah the boat to coast to the coast and uh, no light no telephone no no, no car no nothing 
the only way you get there is by bar bar barco. I said, may I, my, may I go there and have a look? And then I invite my assistant, Andre, the photographer, and uh, my director of production, the uh, direction of Plateau, the Retour du Plateau, to find out, to go with me. And then we went, we went there and everybody says, don't do that, you're crazy. If something happened, nothing, you can go to an hospital or a doctor or something. It's a, such a beautiful place, such an a untouchable place. You, you have the feeling that you are discovering Brazil in Mili Quinhentos, in Mili Quinhentos. It's really a, a, a wonderful place. And I decided to do it that. It was very hard because the equipment, uh, it's a low, uh, it's not heavy equipment, but it's very many things, many things, many people. And everything we have to do, it was by boat. To, to choose the, the locations by boat, to send, to take off the, all the machinery by boat and so on. But it, was, it was very, 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 very good. And it was, uh, winter so it was a, a a very low light blue light a very clear very wonderful light wonderful yeah. and uh, i was extremely happy to do that film there with under those conditions because those conditions make you believe that you are younger than you are <laughs> It's much better for a director. So where were we? We were, you are, I, I asked, um, so did it not only feel, make you feel younger, but but at the, at the same time, because you spent like a month on, on this island, did it did it, yes. did it make you feel like a, a young tourist also? Or was it really hard work? No, hard work and uh, hard work. And it's como se si yo fuera un aventurero que buscaba por oro, por oro. Y esto me daba también muy, mucha coraje. Entonces, que ahora hablo en español. Vamos a ver. Pero esto es, me sentía muy fuerte y me sentía muy bien de hacer el trabajo con mucha libertad. Por, la, por, las, condiciones, por las condiciones que estábamos trabajando, era una cosa de pioneers. ¿Mm? Esto es muy bueno para el resultado de los trabajos, siempre. La tecnología cuando es muy, very hard, that's no good. Mm -hmm. Your actors or your crew, uh, it, it was difficult for them? Also difficult for them, but I was working with a crew that I always work together. Most of the people, for, for instance, the photographer make uh, the lady in the shine and armor uh, 86 with me. And uh, the people of the production work with me about 20 years already. So it's uh, very comfortable. Very experienced crew, yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so maybe we can go go. So we are on 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 this beautiful beach uh, with this story. The story is is set in uh, in 1939, uh, and people discussing the politics of 1939 in a way. And when I first saw the film, I thought um, I'm I'm listening. I mean, I I hear like people talking about anarchists and Kropotkin and, and of course they are names from, from the 1920s and 30s or even earlier. Um, but they are also they were also very important in the 1960s to the to the student movement and to, to the uh, to, to the to the left in the in the 1960s. So at first when I saw the film I thought it, it refers, I mean maybe it came out of that. But then yesterday I I heard from you that your parents came from Spain in 1939 as exiles, uh, and and they were anarchists, and and that made me think. So really, all these discussions and talks that these people have about politics, that it it's not that, that 
these dialogues, they don't come out maybe of, of your experiences in the 1960s, but much more uh, harking back to, to the discussions that your parents had uh, maybe with their friends and... and, and uh, yes, because as I told you, uh, what matters for me since I was a, girl, a little girl and has in the, in the state of immigrant, I am an immigrant. My, my parents come from the Spain and Portugal in the 30s, so Guerra Civil Española and so on. So my, my master preoccupation as a director is discussed who has the real power over myself, over myself. So that is what matter in my films. Also, cause I could here and there talk about women and feminism and so on, but that's not the point. The point is what the powerful men do with me. That is what matters to me. That's what I told you yesterday, because I was not um, concerning on the 60s, when I began to understand many, many things about my country, about my politics, about myself as a woman. But that doesn't matter for me dramatically. Dramatically matters for me what men do with men. Men do what with mankind. So men or women doesn't matter. It's, it's mankind in general. Mankind with mankind. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you, uh, now that we are talking about the 60s, you, you went to, to you first you, you started studying in, in medicine. So, yeah. um, as did I actually, but I didn't tell you yesterday, but, but so, so did I. And so uh, in a very different <laughs> way, we, we, we both ended up in, in cinema. Oh, we are uh, colleagues. <laughs> no, no, yes, I guess so. <laughs> um, but uh, and, and, um, it's of course a very curious transition in, uh, to, 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 to move f first from, from uh, to help people in a way uh, to, to, as, a, as a doctor. To, to help, help people, people in another <laughs> way, in another yes. way. That's it. That's it. It's exactly the point. Because uh, I, I had an actor, an actress in my films. She made four films with me, and uh, she's a wonderful. She's died. She dead. But uh, she's oh. a wonderful actress, and she was also a doctor. And uh, we discussed that very much. Uh, what matters is people, always. Anyway, and, and, and then you moved, you started uh, in, in documentaries and then you, at a certain point, you, you were, yeah, documentaries yeah. no longer were enough for you to express your, uh, yeah. your, your, your ideas or, or was it something different that moved you no, from no. documentaries Docu to fiction? Documentaries is, is cheaper to do with less money, etc. And it's very interesting, but it's very boring. Also, for me, I, I I like to to play. I like to make fun with everything all the time, and I couldn't do that with a documentary. I have to be more responsible. Making documentaries uh, wasn't what we and I don't like to to always give the last word about the matter. And in documentary, there is a moment that you have to choose what you are going to show off, and I uh, have to choose your position, or better, you have to analyze all positions, and that's very boring for me. And then I, I just jump out completely. Uh, when I made uh, I made a long uh, fit, not feature film, a documentary uh, of uh, the theater we had. Is the first uh, long metrage that I have done about a dictator, a big dictator that stay ruling in Brazil for almost uh, 20 years, Getulio Vargas. And then, dramatically, I, 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 I feel that I could handle an hour and a half um, 
making movie. I understand that. And then I, I jump out and I fall down very happily in my sea of roses. So, so this transition to, to to fiction feature filmmaker so it was it was not just that your that you moved from documentary to fiction but also from short format to That's it. Uh, yeah. a, a short filmmaker. films then then the short films then documentary short documentaries then a long documentary and then I understand that if I have eleven rules of 20 minutes on my own, I would be more comfortable on life. I could talk a little more about what I would like to, to talk. And that's, that's the, the turning point. Yeah. So, so, so of course, many things have changed in, in these past 50 years since you started to make films. A, a lot has changed. You, I'm sure you have changed, but there is there what, what you already not said. Not, exactly, not not much. Not uh, so much. You, you already said. I mean, it's really about uh, the the power struggle between men. Uh, all and, and your films, all, all your films. You feel this is the common thread. Yes. Um, first of all, nothing changed too much in matter of money production. It takes, I am not a, a movie maker of um, Mercado. I'm not in the Mercado, really. I, am, I'm, I don't care to make a film that is uh, a blockbuster. I'm not able to do that. I don't, I am not interested to do that. Uh, that's the first thing I have to, that I know myself enough to know, to say that. I want to do the film that keeps my old soul in that matter. So I'm able to do with my actors, with my actors. And uh, so I made a tri uh, three films in the same school, uh, met in the same matter, school, young youngness and maturity. That's the first thing I do. And then always uh, with the point of view of, of the power, always, always. And then Brazil changed a bit. We have more conditions of production, more equipment. But then uh, comes the digital ways. Right? And then uh, again and again, uh, digital, uh, make the filmmaker really the filmmaker become more lonely yeah you feel so yeah, because, 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 because everybody is able to make a film with and, the and why, why why does that make the filmmaker more lonely because now everybody is everybody could do a film on the digital way it's not there is no secret this secret uh, on the digital uh, language, from TV, for movie, you, you with your cell, with your cell, you can do that. So it's very hard now to make a real film in digital equipment. Yeah. Things are difficult, more difficult, because everybody can say it's very dark. It's very, uh, you know, you know, everybody can say what they want about the film you do. Um, and so um, if, if we take this, this idea of your cinema um, uh, being about a struggle of power to, to the new film, uh, in, the, in the new film, there are seven characters, I think, uh, corrected on the beach. Uh, Five men and and two women. How how did you how did you start to to shape these these characters? What, what do they represent? Uh, and, and and with which character did it start? Which which for, for you and which one maybe you know? Can I ask? Expresses your point of view or your ideas if, most? If I understand, if I am understanding your question, uh, always is very confessional because always have a have a reali reality behind that character. 
I uh, I spend my youth in cinema in a bar, a very uh, ship bar, where people of movie, photographers, machinery, and etc. They always were in that bar. You know? This was in, in Rio de Janeiro in the 1960s? In Sao, in Sao Paulo. In Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo. I am from Sao Paulo. Okay. In Sao Paulo. It's a kind of pub where all the filmmakers and, and machinery and etc. went there. And it always was very low budget. Very low budget. That, the, that place in Sao Paulo, it's called Boca do Lixo. Huh? About mouth of garbage. Mm -hmm. Boca do lixo do cinema, garbage of the movie. Yeah. And there I met those 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 uh, characters. Uh, Osvaldo. Small, the small authority, Osvaldo Candeias. And that's it. Uh -huh. And yeah. there yeah. are there is always uh, uh, an Argentino that would like to be a photographer. His, his name was uh, Pio Zamuna. He is an Argentine man. And my, my Argentine actor was Pio Zamuna for me. And, and so on. And the black men that make university used to be there to get some money and uh, the communists, the actress, the old actress that have nobody to, to, to see her anywhere. She didn't work anymore. Every day she was there drinking and telling us. Uh, so that's the small word. I, I catch it back 50 years later. And, and then the, and on these beautiful characters, you, you projected, let's say, uh, uh, a, a deeper political and historical uh, yes, I, I, idea. I, yeah. I made them real a little more than, than what was in my use, but um, that's that, you see, that's that. They are real. I met them. I live with them. And, and did you tell this also they to... They don't know anything about reality, ever. No. Oh. And, and did you tell this also because the, the, the actors that you have assembled, I mean, Teresa Cremieux is from France and there are actors from Italy and, and Argentina and, and no, Portugal, No, but I course. didn't tell them that. No. No. Doesn't matter. No, I guess not. They are, no. Uh, the Portuguese um, couple, the girl, Amada, and... Um, Pedro Barreiro, the Portuguese man, they are my friends uh, because he, he worked on the other films I made. He worked. I work with him uh, in, the, in the first mess, which I have done eight years ago. Eight years ago. And I know him, I, I knew them. And uh, Teresa Cremieux, when I was doing Sarah Bernard, she calls me very excited that she was married in that moment with the consul in Rio de Janeiro, the consul in Rio de Janeiro. And she was, she had made a Sarah Bernard in Paris and she won't make the film anyway. She went to, and I said, no, I have another actress, etc. And then I call her now. And uh, so I, I just, Things and people that work with me, but uh, I didn't know all of them. So, so um, uh, also when I when when you see the film, you will. Uh, so we are in 1939. This is the eve of World War II, um, and I think audiences will see many um, uh, things that feel very many subjects, many topics. Uh, many uh, ideas that are very contemporary uh, that really speak to to our our current times. Yes. Uh, certainly now with the Russian invasion in in the in the Ukraine uh, and 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 really for the first time in 
since World War II, or really a war on the European continent or like between, between nations. And, uh, but you started to write this already in 2015 or so, uh, I think, or, or do you remember when you started to write this? I started to work in 2015, 16. Yeah. And, and for, 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 for instance, what was already this this idea of because the, the Russians uh, they, they they annexed the, the Crimea in 2014 was this already on your radar and in your mind as 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 a shadow of a of a of a war that was coming or was it more a reflection on the situation in maybe in no. Brazil with Temer and no every, everything also my my situation personal situation in Brazil and my permanent interest in Brazilian politics. But also I knew by heart and I knew for 2014, etc., that we have to take care because always there is something come and will be a, something that might destroy you. I have that feeling all the time. Uh, even when I write, when I wrote this picture, but if you think a bit on the end of the film, when the Portuguese man uh, made, he, he made a prayer to San Jorge. Huh? The holy and, warrior. Uh, yeah, and for us, because of Glauber Rocha, the first film of Glauber Rocha, se chama, in its name, Dragão da Maldade, Dragon of Evil. Huh? The figure of the dragon, dragoon, I don't know how, how is that in, in English. Uh, dragon. Dragon, eh? Correct. I made a, 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 feeling, a mix of feeling with Glauber, with the prayer of San Jorge, Matar o Dragão da Maldade, o Capitalismo also, and also though all that kept together and when the film ends, it's, it's what I like best. It's, I only say for everybody that we are in, in, in 1939. You don't know how stupid I was, how stupid we are, or we all are. You didn't see that they are just coming. Really, they are, they are coming. And again and again, <laughs> now Russia, just again. So that is a, a light motif, always. The evil is always near. You have to take care. And the, and the evil have all to do with power. The good, there is not in the world the good power. Doesn't exist. Doesn't, I never saw a good power. So I as as as, as so you you feel as soon as something becomes powerful, it turns That's evil. True. Yes, it's, they come together. They come together. Even in the church, even in the church, that there is no power, a good power it doesn't exist anyway. And that it was matter in the film. It's just the ending, really. They are come. They arrive. The evil is always there. Yeah. Then, and, you, the, and the people that are there on that island, that in and you, uh, inutile, inutile, beauté, un beauté inutile, the island. A, 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 a useless beauty. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter anymore. Those people doesn't matter anymore. What matters is that the evil is coming to stay. There, there is a, a famous song in the Netherlands uh, uh, from the, I think, nine, late 1960s, um, which goes, uh, uh, there's, there, we can no longer uh, flee uh, because, because uh, uh, there, there is no place to yeah. flee. It's, it's a very, very sad song also about politics. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah. so even, even like a, 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 a tropical beach on, in, in Brazil, there's no yeah. longer a place you can, you can flee. It's, yeah. it's impossible. Useless. Yeah. Huh? That's, that's what I thought all the time. Huh? You, you, you mentioned, uh, you just mentioned uh, uh, the cinema of, of Glauber Rocha and, and his, his first film. 
uh, who of course has a, a, a special place within in Latin American cinema also. Um, you, maybe in your youth, you felt like an immigrant, but you've always felt, I'm, I'm sure, a, a Latin American filmmaker, correct? Yes. Your, and, and is there a specific, um, um, are there, is there a, like filmmakers you feel close to? That, yes, that, that I you... was, um, I met some people that I would like to, to be in the movie. For instance, you know, uh, Jorge Sanjines, which I met, which I would like to be. Uh, Buñuel, which I met, which I like to be. Glauber Rocha, which I met, which I would like to be. Um, the Mexican also, the, the Mexican. Cantinflas make me absolutely mad when I, when I met Cantinflas. Why not we can live like Cantinflas? Why not? That is a, a Mexico, um, Mexican goal. It's a goal. And uh, many, many people, anyway, now, I have the feeling, as I told you yesterday, Latin America has the Arab countries, they are melting. Uh, America Latina is melting away. It's, uh, it's, it's finishing in a way. Naturally, in 50 years, perhaps she comes over again. It's not for me to see, but it's very sad now, but on point of view of culture and movie, what, what's happening with America Latina, very sad, very dangerous, very, 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 make us so, very weak. So if, I, if we can go uh, ask a bit more about that, because you that, that say this is not necessarily about the political situation, in Latin America, which of course I means sometimes Indeed. drifts drifts to the left and then in some countries to the right again, but really about the identity of, of the culture of, of the continent. Yes, right? because politic America Latina politics destroy destroy all the time our culture and our 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 identity. Our identity is very weak now because you can't. Um, you can't reveal the Argentine, the Chilean, the Mexican, the Brazilian. They are all the same in a way. They are all the same. And, and you feel this is because of a, of a... Without a face. Without a face, without yeah. A face. And you feel this is because of, of an internal... Uh, it's internal politics, right and left, and and worst of all, money inside the inside both, and um, culture is abandoned. When I said culture, it's not culture, no, it's not. Uh, it's our way of living, our way of feeling, really. Hmm? It makes our 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 our. So then I, so this film we're showing in the in the context of uh, of uh, of of uh, of a program that deals with with so veteran filmmakers, uh, really a, a tribute to to filmmakers who have kept making films uh, um, even if they are past their, their age of pension, etc. As we say, um, what 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 makes you want to continue to make films? Because I'm sure you have new films you want to 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 start already in your in your mind. Uh, is it because a filmmaker is a filmmaker until until I die? Un until you die? <laughs> it's just no, something it's, you do. This is how you. No, it's something. It's very difficult because uh, each each film is more difficult to catch money 
it's more difficult to get into the, the screening. Uh, to, to get get the film distributed, you mean to to, uh, to get yeah. it into cinemas? Yes. Yeah, it's very difficult, and uh, the youngs are coming with new things and, and other other preoccupations, and you know that one day, <laughs> one day I have to stop. But I don't like the idea of stop. Uh, it's very sad. It's very. That's what I want to do. That's what I know how to do. And uh, I am not the one that could make classes and, and teach. I have nothing to teach to nobody. <laughs> and um, I like to make films. I like to have new ideas. I like, I like to laugh making films. And, and that I, I am, I'm, I always... So, so ma making films makes you feel alive also. Like, yes, also. Not, not just going to a beach or in, where you feel young, but in general, the act of making films is rejuvenating. Oh, yes, oh, yes. very, 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 clearly, clearly. And uh, it's impossible to live without, uh, without, without talk to someone what life is. It's a way of teaching what life is in spite of not liking to be a teacher but it's a but because you also uh, direct operas and, and are involved yes. in, in in music what what is different in that respect and what's uh, the completely. difference between no, making it's films one, uh, wonderfully completely different because first of all in opera you have nothing to do with the money somebody called you and they said well let's do such salome or oh, let's do, I, I made Salome and I made uh, Strauss, uh, Ariane and so on. Uh, so you have nothing to do with the money. You have nothing to do with the choice of the, of the matter. You just think about it and you, you begin to, to dream. I want to do this and that. And I want to do a fire uh, on, the, on the Ariadne. I move the fire on the stage in the end on, on the ball so it's wonderful but it's uh on the, the 30th of may you have the open it's the it's the opening finish eight days finish it's wonderful because you have nothing to do with nothing and you can create things very 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 because they are ship you have money and it's wonderful to do People are, that work with you is wonderful. And uh, the more crazy you are, the more the, the region, like the, the, the manager of the theater, like. So you are going crazy for 40 days. And uh, it comes out, it happens, it happens. Uh, for, in, for instance, in Salome, on the death of San Juan Batista, I make a, a, the, she wants the head of San Juan Batista. Mm -hmm. And I made a, 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 a knife, a big knife of nine meters over the, the stage and over the, the people, like that, together Chuck. with the music. <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's wonderful to do that. <laughs> it's quite scary, I think. <laughs> yeah, and you put the light very yellow, and, the, and the, the, the knife was yellow, and so on. I like very much to do that for those reasons. And I made four or five, or five operas. Uh, I made even a Turandot once uh, with very good people in Belo Horizonte, in Minas Gerais. Mm -hmm. Very good people, very good singers, uh, very funny to do. Nothing like a Pavarotti in the Sundorma, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, so, so this, despite all this creativity, uh, you, you feel um, uh, not, not very positive about uh, the, the future of Brazilian culture. But, but at the same time, there is, there is so much from the outside. There is, I mean, there's, again, great filmmakers working in Brazil. There is... There's always music, there's life. Um, um, 
in this moment in this moment we are a little a little uh, gray gray that's what all the brazilians say but 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 despite bolsonaro and despite the, the problems and despite the destruction of the amazon there is there is still carnival. there is always a carnival there is always carnival <laughs> there is always a carnival uh, it's it's our way of live of, of being it's a, it's a, we are not uh, sad usually we are very gay yeah. Gay, yeah. Yeah, gay, yeah. yeah, we are very gay. We are not happy. Any, that's different. But the carnival, of course, it's it's really designed to turn everything around. Uh, that black becomes white, and white becomes yes. black, and uh, the rich become poor, and the rich, exactly. become rich, yeah. etc. Yeah. But Brazil is a very violent country. Very violent country, and carnival. It's a a way of. Uh, it's a, a way of getting a valvula. How you say a valvula? A way of escaping. It's escape. It's escape. Yeah, it's escape. And, and did you, I mean, are you participating in I mean, it? Yes. It's I, nothing to do with the film, but it's just curious. No, I go, I <laughs> dance, I dance, great, I dance. Great, great. For days and days. And I went to Carnival in very several towns in Bahia, in, in Salvador, in, in Olinda, in Pernambuco. Uh, in São Paulo and Rio de Janeiro, I like to dance and, and but but now uh, carnival it's very dangerous because it's too much people on the streets, too much people on the streets. So it's we have to take care. Yeah. I bet maybe one because I, I'm not sure how how long we can or, or should continue, but um, maybe I, I want to ask a bit more about. Um, because in, in the uh, you've often been called like a feminist filmmaker, uh, or um, certainly in, in with your early films, which are are uh, really um, give the the, the 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 women in the film a, a, a place that is not passive but really active, mm -hmm. and that uh, and, and also uh, uh, in a way um, gives the female character a sort of violence. Uh, to, to 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 act also violently. Um, in in in, the, in your last film, uh, the, the 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 strongest characters, apart from maybe, so there's the black, all white men, so to say, are are are. So it it so it, the, the black man is a strong character, and 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 in a way given a sort of wisdom. Mm -hmm. um, and so have the two female uh -huh. characters. Uh -huh. um, can can you say a, a, a bit about your ideas about how, let's say, the the uh, in 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 the in the in the present, the position of women is yeah. for you. Yeah, uh, I don't know if exactly that what you would like. To to ask it me, but uh, if you take Sea of Roses, I was too much more violent than I am now. It's a story of a girl who kills her mother, Margaret Rogers. Um, and in this film, there is no violence at all. Almost no violence. Yeah. <laughs> the girl that was married with a man that works with a dictator that was Salazar. He, uh, he is a killer of Salazar. Salazar was the, the Portuguese dictator in the, yeah, in the 1940s. Yeah, like Franco, yeah. like Franco, yeah. etc. Yeah. Uh, and the, the, old, the, late, the old lady is an, an actress in finishing. But I don't see any violence. Violence on the on 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 those women's for those women, yes, but not on the film. Not on the film. I don't know if I understand what you would like to know about those two women, because and, and, uh, you you yeah. see, uh, those two women have always a sensation of failure, fracasso, fracasso. How do you say that in English? 
fail? For a frailty? Failure. Oh, a failure. Okay. Ah, fracasso. I say so. I have... Fracasso is, is what fracasso. is failure. That's a feeling I know very, very, very well. Because I think that I'm talking about myself and I talk about my films. I'm always uh, walking very close with the evil, the fail, the fracasso, hmm? the abandon. It's a sensation. They leave that, exactly that, on the film. They are abandoned, they are afraid, they are almost failing forever. Almost. The young girl, maybe she's safe for love, for the love of the nigger man. I don't know if that is enough. Hmm? But the old woman, the old lady, she, she stayed there on that island drinking and saying the foolish things all the day. And that is the feeling I have. I, it's the feeling I, I think that at least the women of my family, those, those feelings of fail, fail, fracasso, and uh, abandon, it's a uh, permanent, permanent. And, and is, is this the sense of abandonment and, and failure for women? Is this because they are inevitably part of a man's world? And is there a possibility to turn this man's world into yes, uh, another they, world, which is no longer just a women, man's world? But Yeah, the women dream. The women dream to be the dream of a man all the time. And it never gets, it never, it never comes. I think I'm, I'm talking, I'm not talking of this generation of women. But that, that maybe, hopefully. Maybe, has, hopefully, is, that is already over. I don't know. I don't know, really. Because the dream of a man, the dream of a man always is more interesting than the dream of a woman. Because the dream of a man is going to the new world. The dream of a man it's have a big love. The dream of a man is have money. The dream, the dream of a woman is always, maybe if I can get my life like this with this man, it's okay. The, the dream is a big dream and a small dream. I don't know if it still is that. I know that I have big dreams, big dreams that a woman couldn't have. But I go right after them. But that is very dangerous. <laughs> it's good to have big dreams for. So we should. If, if, I think if, if your career teaches something, I mean, it, it is that it's uh, that. Uh, I mean, it, it teaches a lot. But but also also that it's good to have big dreams, right? But that you can also as a, as as a, as a woman, even but if this I is a know, man. I know what people say about me in Brazil, at least. <laughs> It's very, it's very difficult. It's very difficult because you are, you, you begin to be something not normal. She's not normal. Careful, she's not normal. And when this, I, was, this was immediately uh, when you started in, in, in cinema or already also? Uh, no, when before. I start making films, really. And Feature first, films, right? Uh, uh, I, I, I was um, in Portugal in a festival with my um, my second picture film. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the projection ends, comes the light, and a, a mister go to the stage and said, please, Anna Carolina, can't you come over here to say, to apologize of the film you had made? Wow. <laughs> so and this I, is 1982 or so? 1982. Something like that, 84. Or maybe had more. And I went to the stage and I said, I will not say, say apologize. I just will say that's the film I made. That's all. But it makes an effect. I, I say, it's very hard. But, but this, uh, uh, 
it, it's of course really like a, a conservative yeah, for reaction to you. Yeah, for Chiao, it's uh, maybe now it's different. I don't know. I, I I have I have good friends in Portugal. I'm not concerning to know those changes, but I think have changed. Anyway, it's um, it's very difficult to make films. It's very difficult to make good films. It's very difficult to go on making films. It's very difficult to jump each time to another one. It's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. And women usually don't like that kind of stuff when things are very difficult. But so uh, back back to your dreams and maybe I, I said, so um, you, I'm sure you are dreaming already of new films. Yes. Um, <laughs> more more films about power struggle. Do you have any um, anything you can disclose already that what you are dreaming about? You mean disclosing is telling for I you? Don't like, like, t t t t can you tell already a bit reveal, about what, what, ah, what your new dreams are? Yeah. Reveal. No, I always want to do something very difficult, even because we don't have that massive culture that the Italians have, the Spanish have, the, the Deutschens have, the uh, uh, Netherlands have. <sighs> It's almost impossible to say, I would like to make Leopardo, Gato Pardo. It's impossible. I would like, but it's impossible. So I have to search on my, in the, in the culture of my country, a Gato Pardo born here and catch him and show you. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. We don't have a gato pardo. <laughs> but 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 there is we have a similar. There is we great have. Brazilian uh, literature. Uh, yeah. Guimarães and Clara Guimarães Rosa, my Guimarães Rosa is very difficult to do. Very difficult. Really very difficult. Clarice Inspector is easier, even though even though uh, the magnitude she has, I think I don't have on the camera. You know. It's difficult. I'm only searching inside me and inside my country, digging to find a montanha, a montanha magica. <laughs> and then, yeah, something like that. That's difficult. It's very difficult. And nobody helps us. Nobody supports us. Huh? You need support. Like an opera. You, you, you need support to to dream a little more, to find out the dragon. Um, maybe I, I can tell you, so let, let's hope, um, let's say for, from my point of view, so first, um, the elections in Brazil will go well, um, that, the, uh, that also the Brazilian government and the people in power in, in Brazil will take an interest in culture again and will start to support uh, culture yeah. and, and, and cinema. I hope already uh, so, sooner than in 50 years or in 15 years. Uh, and, and I hope um, this will make it a bit easier for you to, to, to uh, realize your next dream. Um, and thank you very much for. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you very Good much. Just fine. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you, Mexico. Finacam, Ficunam. Thank you, Ficunam. Yeah, Ficunam. <laughs>